Week one of the 2022 college football season is in the books, and that means it's time to rank the top 25 teams. I'm Stephen Lassen of All CFB 365. Please be sure to subscribe. We're going to have coverage throughout the year, pregame, postgame, rankings, everything to do with college football. And check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at All CFB 365. Before we get into the top 25, we're going to mention a few teams that were just on the outside of our power rankings. Keep in mind, our criteria right now after the first weekend of the season is we don't want to overreact, but we also have to react to the results on the field. And also, it's a blend of our preseason projections with what we saw in week one. So as we go forward, our preseason predictions will slowly be filtered out in the top 25. And as more results come in, that's all our top 25 will be based upon. So for now, it's a blend. Going forward, once we get more results, that's what our top 25 will be based on. As we start the rankings, we'll go 25 through 20. Houston kicks off our top 25 rankings at number 25. The Cougars scored a huge victory at UTSA. It was one of the most entertaining games on Saturday with Clayton Toon going in airborne into the end zone to secure that two-point play to give the Cougars a victory over UTSA. We also see Cincinnati in this range, a hard-fought loss at Arkansas. Still think that Luke Fickle's team is going to improve over over the course of the season. Kentucky saw some good things out of Will Levis and the playmakers at receiver. Need to see Kentucky's offensive line and rushing attack improve. Wake Forest, Wisconsin, and Miami all scored easy victories in week one to cap out the first range of our teams in the rankings this week. The next range of teams at 19 starts with Tennessee. The Volunteers looked great in an easy win over Ball State. The challenges get a little bit tougher in week two for Josh Heupel's team as they go to Pitt. Oklahoma State started fast against Central Michigan. They gave up a lot of points late. We'll see if that's a sign of things to come for Mike Gundy's team. Michigan State, solid win over Western Michigan on Friday night. BYU absolutely dominated South Florida on Saturday. The Cougars already look to be in midseason form. They have a huge showdown against Baylor next week. Oregon checks in at number 15. The Ducks were dominated in a loss to Georgia. We don't want to penalize Oregon too much. Obviously, Georgia is one of the clear top three teams in the nation, and they would have destroyed a lot of teams last week. So Oregon drops from our preseason rankings to number 15, but still think that the Ducks have a chance to win the Pac-12 this year. The next range of teams starts with NC State at number 14. The Wolfpack survived a close call at East Carolina on Saturday. The missed extra point and a missed field goal late saved the Wolfpack from an upset loss. Dave Doran's team has to figure some things out on the ground. The rushing attack not quite there yet. Utah drops from our top 10 to number 13 after the road loss to Florida. Kyle Whittingham's team, not out of the playoff mix by any means, but the margin for error has dropped. They'll have to run the table and win the Pac-12 to probably have a shot at the top four. At number 12, I have Arkansas. Really impressed, continue to be impressed with quarterback KJ Jefferson of Arkansas. He was the reason why they won that game on Saturday. Oklahoma, great debut for new coach Brent Venables in an easy win over UTEP. And at number 10 is Florida. The Billy Napier era off to a great start with the win over Utah on Saturday night. Anthony Richardson, the unbelievable two-point play, and also Florida's defense coming through with two stops on the goal line in the second half to secure the victory for the Gators. So the Gators go from unranked to number 10 after week one because of that huge win against Utah. Baylor kicks off the next group of teams after an easy win against Albany on Saturday. We'll find out a lot more about Dave Aranda's team in week two as they have a tough road trip to BYU coming up. 
USC a pretty easy victory to start the year against Rice. There were some things on defense that USC is going to have to clean up, especially with Stanford coming up in week two. Texas A&M checks in at number seven in our first top 25 after week one. A lot of good for Jimbo Fisher's team, especially on defense. Still think that this team is working through some things offensively. The rushing attack, the offensive line, not quite there yet. Haynes King was also up and down. There was a weather delay in that game as well. So we'll have to see what the Aggies have in week two against Appalachian State. And then in week three against Miami, Notre Dame is number six. We didn't drop the Fighting Irish too much after the loss to Ohio State. Defense played well. Certainly some things that Tyler Buckner did that Marcus Freeman and that coaching staff can build around going forward. At number five is Clemson. The Tigers picked up a victory over Georgia Tech on Monday night to close out week one. As expected, the defense was dominant, allowed only 10 points to the Yellow Jackets. There was some improvement on offense, but still a ways to go for Coach Dabo Swinney's team. So the Tigers sitting there at number five, if the offense improves, this is a team that can once again make the college football playoff this year. We kick off the top four with Michigan checking in at number four. The Wolverines looked sharp in a victory over Colorado State on Saturday. And the question now becomes, will it be Cade McNamara or J.J. McCarthy at quarterback? McNamara started game one. McCarthy will start next Saturday. All around, Wolverines look good on defense, rushing attack, offensive line. A lot to like about Jim Harbaugh's team. Moving forward, Ohio State checks in at number three. The offense was not as explosive in the passing game as we were anticipating, but the Buckeyes won with defense and the rushing attack. And I think with C.J. Stroud, at quarterback, and some of the weapons that they have, it's only a matter of time before the Buckeyes get the passing game going. One and two, no surprise. Georgia at two, Alabama at one. Both of these teams dominated on Saturday And those two teams, along with Ohio State, are definitely a cut above everyone right now in college football. Week one is in the books, and what a great week of games it was. That was our first top 25 poll after all the games to start the season. I'm Steven Lassen of All CFB365. Please be sure to subscribe and check us out on Twitter. Instagram, and Facebook at all CFB365. And also be sure to leave your top 25 in the comments. These will be changing throughout the year. It should be interesting to see what happens in week two. 